Well, the rocket turned it on tonight. This was vintage O'Sullivan. He stormed into tomorrow's, into tomorrow's final with a 6-2 win over Mark Allen with three centuries on the way. Another high quality match here at the Rico Arena. And there's confirmation of the result then. Uh, earlier we saw John Higgins defeat Ding Junhui and then Ronnie, of course, beating Mark Allen. Nine centuries we've seen in these two semi-finals today. So that means we will see John Higgins up against Ronnie O'Sullivan in our final of the Champion of Champions tomorrow, 12.45. And Ronnie has stepped in after that. Um, Fantastic to see you in that kind of form, Ronnie. Uh, you enjoyed that tonight, by the look of things. Yeah, yeah, it was all right. You know, Mark's um, a really good player, and really top match player. You know, and um, he's, he's been queuing really well for a couple of years. And I just, I was saying to my mate the other day, I said, you know, if you're a betting man, I said, get on him because he said he's playing too well to not win tournaments. And um, he just, you know, he just sort of like found an odd dodgy performance like he did tonight, which done me a favour. Well, uh, you know, you were in fantastic form. You talked at the start of the week saying, you know, you maybe playing 70-80% of your game, but there were moments tonight where you must have felt that you were at the absolute top top of your game. Yeah, yeah a few times I felt all right, you know, I felt in control of my game. Um, so, yeah, just sort of like, which was nice because it's been a bit of a struggle lately, so it's nice to always get a little bit of uh, rhythm going. We'll talk more about John Higgins later, but, I mean, it does set up another meeting with him. We were just looking back at the the matches you've played, and I, I, I don't think you'll have played another player on the circuit as often as you've played John Higgins. Yeah, maybe. I mean, obviously, we come through the same same time. You know, we were both 16, 17 when we first come on the scene. So we've, we've me and him and Mark Williams, we probably played each other quite a lot. You know, between us. Uh, you know, and uh, he's an amazing player. You know, was that an incentive tonight to play him tomorrow? Um, oh, you know, if I'm enjoying it, you know, sometimes uh, if I'm enjoying playing, then it doesn't matter who I play. But then if I'm struggling sometimes, then mm. I just think I don't care who I'm playing. I just don't even want to be there. But I'm a lot <laughs> better. I'm a lot better at when I'm feeling like that, at ignoring that voice in there. So, you know, against you, I walked out. My head was that gone. I just thought, I can't be doing this. But, um, but now, I just I feel like that. But I just think, like, come on, you know, just at least try it to the end of the match, and then you know, throw your toys out the pram when you, you get the ruins. The chimp. <laughs> oh, yeah, chimp, whatever it is. It's just me, isn't it? I don't know the chimp, it's just me. Well, there was, was, you certainly silenced it tonight. You silenced Mark Allen as well. Um, let's have a look at some of the the key moments and some of the. the Shots we picked out, Alan. Yeah, there was a lot of good stuff. Obviously, second half of the match. Um, the frame was done there, just a little exhibition shot. Talk us through a few, Ronnie. Oh, right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. By the way. Uh, yeah, this one. Yeah, just a little off two cushions, wasn't it, Cannon? I was mm. all right these shots where the white was really close because you can't really miss You've a lot there. of them this week, haven't you? Yeah, anything with a bit of distance in, I'm going in trouble. <laughs> so these are all right. <laughs> I played it to get that close to it. <laughs> But yeah, no, it was all right. Listen, um, if Mark would have played his top game, I'm sure he would have sort of. It'd have been a lot closer. You know, his, like his long bottom was a bit off, wasn't it? So he couldn't really get in and create chances for himself. Yeah, yeah, his long game weren't great. He's, he looked decent in the balls, mm. and his safety's always good. But like you say, if you don't put long balls in this game, it is hard. You know. Mm. What you percentage of your game going in did you see? When you play matches, does it benefit you or practice? Is matches the most important thing for you, for your um, action, for your confidence? Uh, I think you need a mixture of both. Or is it time in the practice? Too? I think I need a mixture of both. I think like, I'm, I'm one of them players. If I'm in competition, you're trying to find your form. You can start searching, and then you're sort of like creating one fault with another fault. Do you know what I mean? Whereas if you get on practice day, we can have like four or five days just grooving something. Then you kind of just more comes more instinctive. I think. Yeah. Perfect position. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah, I missed this red up though, didn't I? So I'm terrible <laughs> thing. But um, yeah, you know, it's just, just. I, I mean, I went for a spell for like four or five years where I was consistently queuing really well, and I think the last six, seven months I've felt a bit in and out, you know. So you lose a little bit of confidence in you think, well, is it going to be there, isn't it not? I'm sure if I kind of knuckle down a bit, then that consistency will come back. You were saying at breakfast this morning you've not been running just as much as what you have been the last few years. Did, did, does that affect you? Uh, no, when I was running the other you know, day, the... I ended up with a sore leg. So every time I sort of put my weight on that leg, it was hurting. So I thought, I'm in the middle of a tournament. I don't want to be sort of like hobbling around the table. So I thought, just, just been on the cream cakes instead. <laughs> and have you, between the, when we saw you at the start of the week and now, have you been back at home just doing a bit of practice? I had a couple of days practice, yeah, because I, I need it, you know. Uh, basically, I, I've been on the road since septem September the 8th till early November, and I didn't practice because I had so much going on in the summer. So I had to start, try and find some form during the tournaments, and I didn't. I probably played two good matches out of 16 games, so it was like hard work mentally to just stick in there. 
But I just thought, just try and be patient. And, you know, if nothing happens before this side of Christmas, no big deal, then obviously I can get into the new year and hopefully something happens for me then. I think you've just got to be patient sometimes. And, of course, unbeaten here at the Champion of Champions. You like this tournament. We didn't see you here last year, but you won it the first two years. Yeah. Uh, you, you enjoy that. I think it's the environment, but also the format of this one. I just think just having 16 players at a venue is nice and, you know, playing against top players. When you've got 128 players, I mean, I don't even know. One half. table, in it? I don't even know half these players. You turn <laughs> up, you know, they don't even look like snooker players. And you just, in the end, you're like, oh, just get me out of here. And they turned it into, like, a zoo. A zoo of, like, amateurs, you know, and you've got a few good players there, and you just think, oh, mate, get me out of here. I'm a celebrity, get me out of it. I'm a snooker player, get me out of it, please. You're not only that, though, not only a snooker player, um, but you're also a novelist now. We, oh, yeah, we I'm love like, the yeah. autobiographies. Have you read but it? Na- yeah, oh, you not, read not the novel, novel though. Well, no, you want to read no, the no, novel, it's a real classic. It's a real page turner. <laughs> Is it? Well, I love <laughs> a thriller, me. I mean, uh, I am You'll a like this one. Really? I'm going to give you a signed copy. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> I will hold you to you that. I'm sure there's plenty of material for you in the world of snooker. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to stop you. Let's not get you dirty ball. No, no, no. Uh, no but no. yeah, it's uh, it's great to see you. Well, listen, uh, we wish you all the very best in tomorrow's final. Um, going to take it easy now, quiet night. Yeah, yeah. Just go to the room and um, have some food, watch some TV. I don't know. Watch you talk about a match for an hour. You got another hour to fill in. Yeah, <laughs> we're not going to talk about, the f- about that. Yeah. Don't talk about the football. I think. What's the score? Three 0 Oh well, yeah, they're, it's, both, um, they're both not very that, good, are they? I mean, England uh, can't win nothing, can they? A real chance then, maybe for John Higgins to get one back on England tomorrow in that final. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, listen, we wish you the best. Best of luck with that one tomorrow. We will be back.